good morning good afternoon and or good night thank you guys for coming back to my channel welcome to Fran plans if this is your first time here thank you so much welcome i hope that you choose to stick around um don't forget to subscribe uh, don't forget to hit the alarm button the little bell so that you know when i post videos but i thank you guys for coming back to my channel if this is your first time like i said thank you i'm gonna dive right into this as you can tell from the thumbnail um i'm gonna be talking about some memory keeping uh, memory planning i really enjoy this. I think um, true to my heart, I am a scrapbooker. So this is something that I truly enjoy. And I'm going to show you guys some of the things I use um, in my memory keeper, planner, scrapbook. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, and then I'm going to probably do another video where I just do a flip through and kind of just talk you guys through, um, you know, the pictures that I put down and the meanings and so forth. And you know why I'm memory planning in, in this way so um, I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side so this is my memory planner this is a large happy planner so I really enjoy happy planner I enjoy all the different sizes and um, things that happy planner has brought to the planner world and I know they make the happy planners that are specifically for happy, uh, memory planning but i decided to go with one of the just regular big planners and i turned it into my happy planner this cover is from the martha stewart collection planners and i just put it snapped it on here so and it has like a pocket here and it has some card slots i don't really use this um and i mainly keep the cover on it for stability when i'm having it stacked up against my other planners um, in a standing position because this cover is durable but just for more sturdiness I keep the hard cover so this cover is Martha Stewart this is the um, this is like the seasonal type of planner I really love the color scheme inside of it and because it's seasonal meaning like every month it kind of reflects the time of year and what's going on for example February it has a lot of hearts and reds and pinks Christmas it's more of a Christmas color it's a traditional color so I really love this planner but like I said I turned it into my memory planner so of course you will need some type of book whether it's a planner or a journal a notebook whatever you need to scrapbook an album um, and so I use the planner I ended up buying the extension pack because I knew I wanted to use this planner or start memory planning before our daughter was born and she was born in November and yes, I have a bro I have a few broken nails. I'm going this one tomorrow. So bear with me <laughs> uh, Just want to point that out. So I bought the extended uh, pack to go in here so that I can start in October the month before she was born and That's kind of how I you know, that's how long I've been doing this. Um, I've memory planned in other ways I've used a traveler's notebook. I've used uh, Junk journals. I've done all of that, but I really enjoy this because it kind of keeps me on track to do it uh, weekly. So I started in October um, and I've just been, I don't really use the monthly for anything, but I've just basically been just keeping track of things in my life. Um, you know, the transition from being just a married couple to now being uh, like a family with a child. So, um, you know, just some things from our baby shower and just some pictures from the ultrasounds. I'd never got the, um, the thing for the wall, the frame for the wall for all the different ultrasounds we had done prior to her being born. But I just put them in here and I figured this would be a great way to keep up with them. And I can always take them out because I have them in plastic if I do want to hang them on the wall where I'm not going to ruin the actual picture. But these are just, um, you know, some of the things that I've been memory planning and keeping in here. And so it's been really fun. I really enjoy it because, you know, in those moments where you may need to be show some have, have some gratitude or look back on things, I have this to go to. So this is where I am now. We're now in May. Where is May? So you see how, like, fun this planner looks? Like, it's so bright for May. Like, that's what I really love about it because it really picks up the season that we're in or the month that we're in but some of the things that I use to memory plan so I have my planner or your book your notebook your journal however you're going to you know keep track and keep up with the things that you want to memory plan I also use various sticker books so happy planner of course you know has tons of sticker books so they have like I said the line for memory planning I do have I think I have two of these 
types of the happy memory keeping sticker books and I really like them because their size they're pretty big when it comes to the layout of the stickers um, versus the tinier I don't even know if tinier is a word, the smaller stickers. So the, these really fit the boxes really nice in the big planner. So I really enjoy using these. And these, this pack is um, the seasonal one. So it keeps up throughout the year, you know, what season we're in. I also use the Color Story. These uh, stickers are pretty big too. As you can tell, I've really been using a lot of them. But I like the size of these stickers for memory planning. Um, I'm almost like done with this book. I also love the quote sticker book. Um, they are much smaller, but I do love using these in my memory planner. So the quotes one, which is falling apart on me. Here is my other one for memory keeping specifically. And this one is all about the holidays and so forth. So I really enjoy using this as well. Just showing you guys a quick flip through of what these stickers look like. I also like the gold star quotes. Um, this is a pretty fun book and it's very colorful and bright, which I really like to use in my memory planner. I also use these stickers in my regular planner as well, but um, I do use them in my memory planner. I also use some of the Healthy Hero stickers, you know, just to, um, just to you know, keep myself motivated when it comes to working out and, you know, staying on my meal plans and stuff like that. So um, I do put that in there because I do have some of my progress pictures since having the baby of uh, losing the baby weight. So... I like to use those in there. And then I recently added the Baby Girl sticker book to my collection from Memory Planning, which I do enjoy using this book as well. Um, just a little fun book and just to add some of her milestones in the Memory Planner. So I have my sticker books. I have my actual book that I do my memory planning in. Of course, I am not... It's funny, like, over time, I've gotten away from using a lot of washi, but I do like the Simply Gilded washi, and this is my Simply Gilded collection. So I do use some washi in my memory planner. I don't use a lot, but I do use it. So um, washi tape, stickers, um, of course, you need scissors. I keep those in there. I also use, for my pictures, I use my HP Sprocket, the two-in-one. I got this bad boy off of... I want to say it was HSN or QVC. I just, I ordered it. The only reason I bought it through them because I got an email about a special and, and it was like, okay, whatever. So I use this one. I also use, this is my case. I also use my Polaroid zip. I've had this way longer um, than my sprocket, but I prefer the sprocket over the zip. And then I, of course, to, um, these are the, the zinc paper that you need for the sprocket and the Polaroid. So the good thing about it, the print paper fits both. So those are some other things I use for memory keeping. Of course, you don't need any type of um, printer, I guess. But, you know, for pictures and so forth, you know, how are you going to print them out? So, of course, you can always just use regular pictures and maybe size them down or cut them down so i have my stickers i have my washi i have my uh stickers that i use i mean my pictures that i use and the cameras that i use um of course another thing is something to write with so i don't really have a specific pen that i use for memory planning but i do like to write maybe something that was going on that day i'm just showing you guys a little flip through this is the week olivia was born and i just kept like our little wristbands and stuff like that um, and some pictures and then I've really been keeping up with it as far as like as time has gone on and how she's grown up and well not grown up but just you know grown as a baby so uh, the quality of the pictures I really enjoy the quality it doesn't bother me sometimes it can be a little gritty but it's okay I mean it's a paper printer as far as for pictures so I'm not expecting the best I also use some of those um, this was, this is not a sticker. This is like, these can clip in to your planner and I just cut them down and place them in there. Um, and see like, I'm, I'm gonna probably come back in here and probably write something just to keep up with what was going on around that time. So yeah, these are some of the things in, that I've been doing as far as memory planning. I really enjoy this. Um, it's a really good way to de-stress, I think, because it reminds me so much of scrapbooking. So I just wanted to share this with you all. Do you guys memory plan? If you do, 
let me know. What do you guys keep in your memory planners? What do you guys like to use? What Do you like stickers? Do you like washi? What are you using your memory planner? So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next and talk to you later.